the main thing about grafting is you get the right graft wood and this is last year's growth and we collected it off the mother trees um, in, in end of February and we've been storing them here in sawdust beds. This last, last summer's growth and you've got the buds all the way up here and the idea is to transplant that one onto there or onto a bigger one and there's various types of grafting you can do. Uh, so this one is going to be a whipping tub which is usually used in nurseries uh, on small wood. So what you, are, you have to do is get the the uh, graft wood more or less the same size as the, the the branch you're going to graft. So you cut them into lengths and I do that sort of length because it makes it easy to handle. Okay so we cut them up into lengths. And you have the middle, you have the good graft. The whipping tongue graft is, is as I say, is, it's nursery work, really, in, into nursery stock. And you cut down there, nice and straight, very sharp knife, and you put a, a tongue thing in there. Down through there, you see. Okay, mm -hmm. then you've got to match that, and what you're matching up is the cambium layers which run underneath the bark. So, I should have bought the circuit shears, but you then have to match that onto there. Okay, so I'm going to make it a bit shorter and bit knobby. You've got to have a nice smooth piece really, but I'm going to do it here. And you can see straight away that that one is a little bit wide, but not far out. And we'll cut that up nice and square. I'm gonna Do that and do that. So you cut a groove in the other side as well? Yeah, you do. You can see there that the whipping tongue's holding it. I use, you can use raffia, uh, but I think this is the quickest way of doing it um, by just taping it in nice and tight. Okay, just tape it around. Is that electrical tape? Yes, and yeah, just insulation tape, yeah. Making sure that it's in the right place. And if you go over the top there, it saves having to paint uh, paint the top of the cut just to seal it. And what paint would you use? Um, it's a good question. Huh? And that, the ones we use. It's uh, a water-based bitumen paint, uh, Aquasil water-based bitumen paint, and uh, we use it if you're doing big branches and you're putting them, we paint over there, stops the silver leaf funguses getting in in the water. Now, you've got one, two, three buds there. There is also one bud back there, that if the bird comes along and sits on there and snaps it off, that bud will still grow. So that's a safety bud, but in the nursery, when you're doing nursery stuff, we use a long stick, because for ease of handling, uh, but we always cut it back to one bud in the nursery because you want it to grow good and strong. Uh, but here, if it's a bit of a framework grafting, you will get that one will grow, that will grow, and that will grow. So it's much quicker. There and there. This is called a Somerset Saddle Graph. And uh, it um, covers the calluses over very, very quickly that way, well, the, well, the branches grow. Right, like that. 
Just like that. So look at that, John. Look at that. You see, just, just like that. Actually, that's not quite square enough. And we're going to cut it on an angle. The idea is that goes in there and that goes down in there and under there oh, and that grows that. over much quicker. That's the whole. So thing. that one's called a Somerset, a Somerset, Somerset Saddle. And then down the bottom here you see you take out a flap. Bark should should lift better than this. Then put that one down in there. Then that one over there, and then get the tape out. Pulling it in over the top there to see water and um, it is quite often you don't come up that far and you put on water based paint but we can probably just about get away with that this is going to be uh, just an ordinary line graph the easiest graph to this is really good graft wood, very well kept graft wood, very moist. There we go, there, there, there. there. It doesn't have to be thin, mate, I'll just show you a minute. It's that sort of thickness, okay? That mm -hmm. sort of thickness, good and straight. If you put it on the knife, it's you can't see any air pockets. It's got. Don't hack it. Don't hack it. The graph. To, to just big straight cut. And then nice and smooth there and there. Yeah, it should lift a lot better. You want to do it now until the second week of May, and then you fall here, don't you? That should. There it is. The most important thing is to have an area there which has been cut. You see there, and then that callus is over much quicker. And another one in here. And then tape it around okay. and paint that with this water based Bishman paint and the tips and that there and make sure that that is watertight down in where the bark is lifted because there's a gap there. Come in at the top, start with, pull it in, and that's much easier when it's like that. So that's it.